Rank the following compounds in order of decreasing reactivity to aromatic electrophilic bromination. In order to do this problem, we first have to draw out the molecules given, which I already did. So this is benzene, this is toluene. Toluene is a benzene ring with a CH3 group. Benzoic acid is a benzene ring with COOH group. And a phenol is a benzene ring with OH group. How do this group affect uh, the reactivity of the benzene ring? So we will go ahead and we will look at the chart that I provided below and we will see what group activates benzene rings, ring, makes it more reactive and what group, make it, what group makes it less reactive. So let's go ahead and look at the groups and that will basically allow us to do this problem correctly. Now, if you look at CH3 group, CH3 group is considered R. R is any hydrocarbon chain, and we can see that it belongs in to the activators. Let's go ahead and scroll a little bit to see our chart more fully. So this is our chart. Um, we, it's divided into activators, groups that make benzene ring more reactive, and deactivators, which are groups that make benzene ring less reactive. Now our CH3, as we said, is R, so it is an activator. It makes the benzene ring more reactive, but it is a weak activator. So that's our, um, uh, that's our toluene. Now let's go to benzoic acid. We have group C, double bond OOH, and the benzene ring. Does it make it more reactive or less reactive? Well, if you look at the chart, we can see that um, belonging to deactivators is COOH group. So it makes the benzene ring less reactive and it's moderately deactivating. And then the last group we will be looking at will be, let me just go ahead and circle them. And the last group will be OH group. And we can find OH here. It, it is an activating group. It makes the benzene ring more reactive and it is strongly activating. Benzene ring will, is neither activated nor deactivated. It's basically a blank slate. So if you put an activating group on it, it will make a benzene ring more reactive, deactivating will make a benzene ring uh, less reactive. So we will see where to plug it in in our ranking. So we have to rank in order of decreasing reactivity. Decreasing reactivity means from most reactive to least reactive. Now that we have checked out different groups, we saw that OH group is a strong activator. So it will be most reactive, most reactive. And therefore, we need to start with number four. Number four, phenol should be uh, most reactive, so we can eliminate choices C and Z. After phenol, we also have toluene, which is CH3 group. CH3 group is also activating, it's just not activating as strongly, it's a weak activator. So after four, we must go to two. Then we have a choice between benzene ring and uh, benzoic acid. We said that this group actually deactivates benzoic uh, benzene ring. It makes it less reactive. So that is why this will be followed by benzene and then benzoic acid will be last because it is deactivating. It makes the benzene ring less reactive. I hope you found this lesson helpful. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. Please click subscribe, ask me questions, and I look forward to seeing you in more of my organic and general chemistry videos.